Welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England, everybody. My name is Joe. Today we got another range review for you. Today we are going over the Polymer 80 AFD Glock 17 clone, and it's a serialized. Let's check it out. Before we get into any shooting footage or anything that we're doing today in this particular video, for YouTube's purposes, I want everyone to know that we are in a safe location. We are having our eyes, ears, all proper safety rules have been followed on this range of Cape Gunworks, so enjoy the video. So welcome back guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. I'm excited to get back into this video because I've been having this, I've had this gun for a while now and I will say, I've gone through some ups and downs with it. I finally got a good rain session with it and I got some things to tell you. Uh, to get the proper nomenclature, this is made from Polymer 80. This is not an 80%, it has a serial number on it so I did go through a 4473 to get this gun, which I will make a video coming up to where when it comes to building like serialized guns in Massachusetts, whether you get a receiver or a frame, what you have to do, because especially in states like mine, I had to go through Narnia just to get this. Wasn't that difficult, but it's actually a pretty simple process. The proper nomenclature for this Polymer 80 AFT Glock 17 is the PFS 9 full size builder kit. This is the Flat Dark Earth. Let's get into exactly what this gun is. So when it comes to the ins and outs of this PSF 9, it is a, for all intents and purposes, a Glock 17 clone. You have the Polymer 80, typical Polymer 80, uh, grip frame if say if you were gonna get like an 80 percent uh, it is a Glock 17 and for YouTube's purposes obviously there's no Mac in the gun there's nothing in the chamber so we are being safe um, this gun as you can tell from the video it fits my hand like a glove but you get the Polymer 80 grip texture this is a Polymer 80 or P80 uh, slide and uh, you get pretty much I'm gonna call oh, close to OEM parts kit there's nothing like upgraded on this gun at all uh what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this gun but i'm gonna put this down for a second you're gonna get a case like this one thing i do like about this gun it came with a case already now you get removable foam and when you get it you're gonna get your frame and your slide is gonna be wrapped up. You are going to build this yourself. It is technically a builder's kit, but since you're going through a 4473, it requires you to go through a background check to get this pistol. Once you make that, in the state of Massachusetts, you have seven days from the gun going bang to what we call EFA tenant or declare a new pistol has been manufactured or made or assembled, and you get the proper Merck's paperwork to prove that you have the gun. But that is just kind of the mumbo jumbo. It is a Glock 17 clone. There's really no specs that I really have to go over because if you haven't shot a Glock 17 or you don't know what a Glock 17 spec list is, that is, there's nothing really new on the PFS 9 from Polymer 8. Now getting down to the little nitty gritty things I've noticed with this gun shooting it, it's very comfortable to shoot. I have large hands, so sub uh, subcompact or compact guns, always gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. I like having a full size gun. And I like having the fact that I can get the best purchase on it when I go to present it. It just has the standard, you know, blacked out rear and the white front sight. Um, it is OEM. So if you haven't shot an OEM Glock, Definitely go try it, because you haven't shot a Glock, everyone needs to. I will say the frame of the Palmer 80 kind of improves a lot of what a standard OEM Glock is. You get a little bit higher purchase for your palm. Uh, you do get a double undercut right here, so you're not gonna get Glock knuckle as much. This one does have a little bit better of a flat trigger, you can see there. 
Uh, the serrations on this slide, much better than a standard Glock. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but once you assemble it, it's really not that hard. There's many videos out there to learn how to assemble a Glock pistol. You're gonna get all the parts needed. You don't have to buy a single thing, which is a big plus for this gun. This gun at Cape Gunworks is coming in at four, what does it say? Oh, I still have the sticker. 459 in that ballpark. Might have gone up, might have gone down, but you can definitely save some money if you know how to use the Googles or a special landing page in the description. Um, now, the PFS 9 is a 9mm striker fire pistol. You can see from the shooting footage here that it shoots like a Glock. But there's a little bit of an issue that I found with it. Stay tuned. So as you can see from that shooting footage, I did have a small malfunction. When I first built this gun, I will say, I was having a lot of dead trigger issues. Now, I, conf I confided in my friend Dark from DLD After Dark. He has built many a polymer 80s. Since this is not a polymer 80, he still knows his stuff around Glock. So he kind of worked me through it and it ended up being the spring on, the, on your trigger was backwards. That's why I was getting a dead trigger. I go to, again, this is clear. I go to pull the trigger and you hear that click? That click right there. Now, you can see from the video, I was going to press it. Now, it's getting a little bit of a break in period. That's why I feel this is going on. Um, I thought it was the magazine at first, but I was using the I was trying a different, couple different mags out. I used this ETS mag, which I don't really recommend. Wasn't really a fan of it. Uh, standard Glock mag and P80 sends you what I'm gonna go with a Korean made P mag. That's, that, that's the best I can, it's almost like an SMG, but it's not. Um, but it has a dead trigger. Now, there you go, finally goes off. Okay. Now there's a little bit of an issue there. I'm telling you right now, with a, a gun like this, a gun like a Glock, you shouldn't really have to do a break-in period. It is not a 80% where you have to kind of fine tune stuff. This is a factory parts kit, OEM parts kit. I still should not be having a dead trigger issue. Now, finally went off that time. As you can see from the footage through this entire video, it's not just been like not working. It shoots. Clearly, there's a little bit of working uh, bugs you gotta uh, get out of it. Now, accuracy, now this is my target. This has a, this is about, a, call it 75 rounds, give or take. Uh, again, I going at about 10, 15 yards, you know, combat distances. And it worked out pretty well. Uh, accuracy, I was a little bit low. So again, I was probably just getting used to the sights, but I am impressed with the accuracy. That is, you know, when the trigger's working. Now, I do not want to discourage anybody from buying something like this. For a gun like this in Massachusetts, where Glocks can be kind of difficult to get from time to time, you can buy this at your local FFL, fill out your paperwork, especially in Massachusetts, build it, have seven days to declare a firearm with the state of Massachusetts, get your Mercs paperwork, and it is good to go. I have put 
a decent amount of rounds so we're trying to tweak the trigger and stuff like that maybe if i upgraded the trigger it would get rid of like you know put like a zev or a cmc or something in there it would kind of improve it the quality is there i do like because again it has that higher bore access higher you know palm swell right there the texturing is just right accuracy is there but the trigger is the issue because of that i personally would not carry this until you get the trigger issues worked out other than that as a fun range toy getting into the glock type of uh pistol you have your pick rail so if you want to put your lights lasers lightsabers whatever the hell you want to put on there i wouldn't recommend a laser because you know no one does lasers anymore but the psf the pfs9 is a perfect starter glock 17 clone to get into i would, would recommend buying them especially for the price being at around 450 bucks they are really great i bought this at cape gunworks i know we have these in stock they have these available in optics ready i bought mine in flat dark earth because i was a little impatient and as you guys know if you've watched the channel i'm not a fan of flat dark earth i'm more of a cobalt gray or a gunmetal gray type type of guy but beggars can't be choosers whatever i don't mind it i like the gun it's fun to shoot i would recommend buying it just to get into kind of assembling your first pistol because everyone should assemble a glock at one point in their life if you have trigger issues i would not recommend carrying it i would recommend buying it but until you get your trigger issues fixed please please figure out the trigger that you do not want to be carrying a firearm and the trigger have a little bit of an issue but that is what I have to say about the Polymer 80. Let's check out that final shoot. And that is it, guys. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. If you've had experience with this serialized PFS 9mm from Polymer 80. Again, I can't stress this enough. This is not a 80%. This is a completed firearm that was assembled. I did a background check. I have a 4473 and I have the marks to prove that it is declared in the state of massachusetts so please follow all your local laws when it comes to doing stuff like that there's a lot of rule changes obviously with the whole 80 percent game going kind of weird but if you check out places like 1776 supply call and my buddy dark at dldhardware.com you can find a way you can't get one place you can't get it all at one place but there's ways to get it especially let's help support uh dark he is a very good friend of mine and uh he deserves the support so please guys thank you so much for watching today stay safe stay shooting i'll see you soon peace